तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू स्टर्लिंग इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्मूला स्टर्लिंग इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्मूला इज बेसिकली बेस्ड ऑन सेंट्रल डिफरेंस टेबल वी यूज फॉरवर्ड डिफरेंस टेबल थिंग्स बट वी बिकॉज वी आर कंसिडरिंग सेंट्रल डिफरेंस सेंट्रल वैल्यू दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड बेस्ड ऑन सेंट्रल डिफरेंस फॉर्मूला सो सपोज आई विल फर्स्ट टेल यू हाउ वी सपोज x वैल्यू एंड y वैल्यू गिवेन सपोज x जीरो x वन x टू x थ्री x फोर एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग y जीरो y वन y टू y थ्री y फोर सो टोटल फाइव डेटा सेट पॉइंट वी हैव सो सपोज दे आस्क यू फाइंड द वाई वैल्यू एट सब पार्टिकुलर एक्स Now x value. Suppose uh, if we denote this one by zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So suppose they ask find y value at two point five. So two point five is lies between two and three. So either you take two or three, your choice. It is your choice. It is based on your choice only. So uh, suppose I consider two. So two we denote by x now. Correct. Whatever you choose, a central value. Try to take a central one because the uh, two lies in central, so we have chosen central. Otherwise, if you choose three, then uh, again no matter. So this is x naught. What is this value? If of x naught you denote by minus x minus one, this is x minus two, this is x minus three. Uh, down you denote by plus. After zero, what will come? One. Then x two. Corresponding y value, you can write. This is y minus two. This is y minus one. This is y zero. This is y one. This is y two. So now, what is new table? This is very important. X. What is x now? Then x minus one. Then x minus two. What is now? X one. Then x two. What is corresponding y value? Y minus two, y minus one, y zero, y one, y two. Once you retain x and y, how will it? It's very simple. When table given, just central value you choose uh, x naught. Above that, take minus. Down that, take plus. Uh, and it's based on what value they ask if lies in between two values your choice you can anything x or so once this one ready now we are going to create central table different table how we create i will tell then i will tell you how we write the formula because for formula table required that's why i started with table first so once you written y then write del y first What is this? Difference of these two. Difference of these two is del. We denote by del y minus two. Same like forward difference. What is this? Y minus one minus y minus two. Difference of these two means y zero minus y minus one. This is del y minus one. Difference of these two. This is del zero. Y one minus y two. Difference of these two. Then y one. This is y two minus y one. Now come for the next one. Difference of these two. Then this one. Then y minus one minus y one minus two. Difference of these two. Difference of this two. Then go for then two. Difference of this two. This is then two. Y minus two. And this is equal to then square y minus one. And then square y minus two. Difference of this two.
Now we go for del 4. Difference of this. Same like forward. Now, because we have five set of, set of points, so up to four it will be there. Now I'm going to write a tell how we write the formula. Formula for y in x or y x is which value we take in center? x1. What is corresponding y value? y1. So 1, then 2. Then 1, then 2, then 1. Suppose here del 5 is there and two values are there. Then write that one. If suppose only one value is there because after one what is required? Two values. So see one value then two values. One value then two values. One value then how many values required? Two. Suppose we have only one value. Then what we do? Then stop there. No, not required. Once it is complete cycle then only. One then two. One then two. One then two. If suppose two values required and we have only one value, stop. Not required. Come to last value. Correct? So now we have this. So see. How we write? A starting value, why not? Plus P. P is same. Here two values are there. So F, when, when two values are there, take average. Average means del y minus 1. Plus del y naught. Divided by 2. And multiply P. Then P, P square minus 1 by 3 should be uh, 4. P square by 2 should be single value, then square y minus 1. Plus then 2 values, then P, 3 should be average. Whenever 2 values are there, take average. Single value, same. Based on P, one factor based on table. So based on table, how we do? Single, then average of two. If two values are there, take average. Single, then two value. Two value means take average. Single. If again two values are there, take average. Single, then again two values are there, take average. In that case, one factor is going on. Now, second factor. Second factor based on P. So based on uh, how we write P value, based on order of del. Here one order, so P only. Here second order, so P square and by 2 factorial. Third, so P, P square minus 1 square by 3 factorial. See P into P square, P Q will be there. Then here fourth order, so P square, P square minus 1 by 4 factorial. Suppose fifth one is there. So fifth means average of these two from center difference table we can write for p factor. How we write? Because what is required? Fifth order, na? So p p square minus one square p square minus two square. We write I write here. P p minus p square minus one square p square minus two square. By fifth one, fifth five total. Yeah, see P five. Then if suppose six is there, six means single value. Single value means here in place of P put P square. Seven means single value. Here 
you take PQ and in that way. No. P, P square minus 1 square, P square minus 2 square, P square minus 3 square will come for all values. So all values we are moving in this way, and values we are moving in this way. So this is the way how we write the formula. Now I am going to explain you one example uh, how we solve. So understand that it's so much easy. Once you create the table, no need to learn formula. Just two factors are there. How I am writing? You know now. Uh, again, an example I will explain you. So now I will solve one example. Suppose a data set of points given. Now we have to create its table. So what we do? Suppose that they ask find y at 2.5. 2.5 means here. So we denote this one by x naught. So this is your y naught. Here of this, this is your y minus one. This is your y minus two. This is your y1, this is your y2. Correct? Any doubt? No. Then go for del square del y. What is this? Any man? Hmm. It's not necessary every time you will be get zero only. Maybe some value will be there. Now, uh, how we write? Y. X. First we have to calculate P value. What is P? P is X minus X naught by H. What is X? 2.5 X naught we have taken 2 by h common difference y. It is also based for equally space interval. So this is 0.5 by 1. What is p value? 0.5. So what is y x? y0. y0 means y0 plus you can write directly. So I will write directly. y0 means 7 plus single value and two value. Single value then two value. Single value power. So seven plus P because first order means P will come. What is P value? Point five. Average of this two. Four plus four divided by two. Then then square means p square by 2. What is p? 0.5 square by 2 multiplied by 0. Then again q. q means p. p is how much? 0.5 p square minus 1 divided by 3 factorial and then average of these two. What is average? Minus 2 plus minus 2 divided by 2. Then 4 times means p square. What is p square? 
point five square, p square minus one square, so square square four is correct. Upon four factorial, what is the value? Zero. Now just simplify this one, and you will get the answer. So hopefully you understand. See, without writing formula, also you can write. But how we create formula already I told. Uh, see, uh, if you want to write formula, then uh, this is your y minus two del. Correct? This is del y minus one. This is del y zero. This is del y one. This is del square y minus two. This is del square y minus one. This is del square y zero. This is del cube y minus two. This is del cube y minus one. This is del four y minus two. So we can uh, write the formula. It's very simple. P factor. P factor how we write? Y is equal to y zero plus p uh, y zero what? The average of this so del y minus one plus del y zero divided by two plus then p square y into the two del square y minus one then p cube uh, no p cube. P, P square minus 1 square by 3 factorial. What will come? Average of del cube y minus 2 plus del cube y minus 1 divided by 2 plus 4. P square in that way you can type. So hopefully you understand and uh, thank you so much for giving time and watch my next video which is based on Lagrange interpolation formula. Uh, uh, we will update soon. So please like and subscribe. And uh, if any problem is there, you write in the comment box. I will try to resolve. Thank you.